Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to Weza Sue Empires. Today we have a match out of the best of seven between Kiljardi playing the Color Orange as the Abbasid Dynasty and Corvinus, aka Salami, a Wolo God himself playing the Color Blue as the Chinese. And the map is Hillendale, and this is a best of seven. Counting for the semi-finals of the Silver League of the Elite Classic, hosted by EGC TV. You can catch them and me live on Twitch using the links down below. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, because more cool content is coming in. Other than that, enjoy yourself, and this is match number 4 already. So if you want to watch the three previous matches, go watch them here on the channel, they're available for you, and the other semi-final will be also available here on the channel, and it will be great matches for sure. So we have Abbasid versus Chinese, we also don't see this a lot, but I think Abbasid has, has the advantage here. I think in like late, late game, China's the advantage, but before we reach those stages of late game, I think Chinese, I think Abbasid has the advantage, right? They can go for 3TC super easy. It depends on how they open, right? It really does, but... Uh, also, I'm a bit, like, in doubt, because Kiljardi already used the Abbasid on this series. It was, like, his first pick. And he's using it again. Is that allowed? Because it's a best of seven. And that is ten civilization, so there is not the need to repeat... I don't know, because one is banned, right? I don't know how I don't know how also the draft worked. Maybe it was a draft per map. I don't know. But here we are. Abbasid versus Chinese. This is a very good opening for Corvinus here on the deer, pushing the deer super close to the mill to make that as more efi as efficient as possible. Oh that one is super far away though. Let's accelerate a little bit, and here we go, economical wing, so I think uh, it will be like 3 TC's to counter the 2nd TC Song Dynasty. Corvinus could go like 1 TC Song Dynasty and apply super early military pressure, and that will, I think, would, would really perturb Kiljardi's plan. Imperial Academy coming in from Corvinus. Doesn't feel the need to protect his base at the moment. And I think I agree with him. Stone already being collected for Kiljardi and his second TC. Potential third. Because remember, these TCs are super cheap right now. 350 stone. Oh no, wait. You need to <laughs> research that first, right? It's already being researched. And Barbican in the entrance of the hill. Of Corvinus, I like that positioning. I mean, there are better positionings, yes, but this one is good. This one is not bad. So let's see, now it's like 262, and that's already 200 gone. Plus, yeah, I think he wants to go for 3 TCs. No, he doesn't have enough stone for the third one. Maybe he comes back later for it. We don't see our Chinese player going for stone as well. He's, he's, so he's, he's going to play on 1 TC. And that I think that's the right answer, right? They already have Song Dynasty. They're producing villagers faster. So you don't be super behind when it comes to villagers against the Abbasid. And then you just uh, pump out people, right? Just pump out uh, military as well, super early on. Abbasid, I think he not really answered. Like, I, th I think the Zugunu, Zugunu Spear counter everything that Abbasid can offer to the game, right? But let's see. Not, not much happening here. 
No military buildings being dropped by both of our players. Don't tell me it's going to be fast castle for both. Yeah, no military buildings for Corvinus as well. Ah, he's going for the... Okay. So he's going second TC. I see. And no 30c for Kiljardi. So Corvinus will be an advantage. Corvinus will have more villagers. Classical China TC by the other TC. Because you don't want... You, you do this as China. Because you, gen, you generate taxes by dropping uh, resources on your economical buildings. But not on the TC. So if you drop your town center around... Uh, like the berries or something... Your villagers will drop on the second TC and will, they will not generate extra gold. So, oh, wait, is this a third TC? I think it's a bit too much because uh, the basket player is not going for the third TC, right? Oh, we still can't zoom in or zoom out on the observer mode. That's a lot of damage, be careful, be careful. Scout goes down. Boing. And a spear coming through. To perturb. Working as a, a scout as well. And that's going to be a 30c, right? No. But wait. You were on stone. Ah, there we go. There we go. 30c. Bro, that's going to be a lot of villagers. But the thing is, if Kiljardi produces enough military, that will not matter. Because that amount of villagers will not be able to fight, right? So it's really, uh, like, I don't know, Kiljardi... Oh! He's going Castle Age! Into Military Wing, he'll spawn uh, two Camel Riders, and then I think he'll just throw Ghulams into the base, because Ghulams, they kill villagers extra fast, because they do two attacks, right? And then you research a boot camp, and you go for uh, plus 15 health on those Ghulams, and it's just great. Trying to find an opening here. Well, the Gulams can just pass through here, right? This Barbican, like, he's not really defending anything. Because unless you make... I mean, you pass through here, then you have the TCs in the back. I mean, it kind of defends, but it's not the best position for the Barbican that I've seen. And three spears are in. Uh, Corvinus really wants to now go uh, castle, but I think he needs more people on wood because then he goes for the berries and then there is no more food after that. Because it was changed, like, I think in the past you had uh, more big gold nodes and big stone inside of the hill over here. And we see a proxy barracks. Oh, and that's where the Ghulams will come out, right? Uh, yeah, maybe 3TC for Corvinus was a bit of uh, overstatement. But if he survives early castle, the game is him. Is his. Right, if he survives early castle, if he survives the Ghulam boom, the Ghulam invasion, this game will be his, I'm pretty sure. Astronomical clock tower coming in. So that's the castle edge for Corvinus. And what do you answer to those Ghulams? You don't even have military buildings, bro. Right? But this, okay. So no extra TCs. Only two for the Basid. Oh, I Archers versus Spears. And now you need to move for the berries. Oh, and the Manganel already being produced. And there we go, it's the Ghulams coming in. Oh, that's the Elite upgrade. Already with the Camel Riders that will counter cavalry as well. 
Spears building the manganel. Manganel, manganel. Crossbows and archers, they will not happy to meet their natural predator, the manganel, right? They will not be happy with that. Manganel being target down. Villagers also coming in. Maybe to drop a tower or something. Where is the production? Only one... Art. Okay, it's being supervised though. It's a lot of crossbows. Villagers under threat. Good dodge. And I think... The, okay, you can go to here. I think that's the best play. Just to go there. Right now. Oh, bro. Proxy attack. Proxy proxy base. Really, from Kiljardi. You don't see that a lot on Age of Empires 4. It's not really uh, useful, right? But in this position, I think it is... Corvinus, he went 3 TCs, bro. Um, and it's, it's really cool. I like to see it. He's ahead by 10 villagers. But the timing was a bit bad. Because now he's facing 2 manganels. And he has, he, has, he has a good number of units as well. But uh, look at the income per minute. 1,000, almost 1,000. 200 and 900. So, uh, and then the gold, it's similar. So he, needed, he really needs to expand out of his base. He's on in this front berries. It works. Manganel shooting down the 30C. Spring all coming in. And now we see Rams. And no military upgrades for both of our players. No blacksmith. Manganel will go down. Nice. Good shot with the spring all. We need another one. Oh, a nest of bees coming in. Nice. That will be a great defense here for Corvinus. But the, the, the first ram comes in for Kiljardi. Trying to destroy that um, that 30 C. Nest of bees do good damage against the the the, the, um, the rams though. Springles also do good damage against the rams. There we go. You see the, the, the HP of the Ram going down? It's crazy, right? But you need, you need to kill the other Manganel. Oh, and uh, the Gulams kill Siege extra fast. Because they attack twice. And they're hard to kill. Because they are armored units. Yeah. And uh, you, you have to use the crossbows here very carefully. They, 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 the the Gulams kind of counter the crossbows. Because when you got... On top of them, you just have to look at this, bro. The crossbows got, got wiped out. Only one barracks, oh, only one archery range. And that's it. That's game. 3TC China losing to 2TC Abbasid. Because not enough military units available. Because Corvinus was 20 vils ahead. He lost 10, he's now 10 ahead. So if the game went longer, he will be fine. Huge migration. But these Gulams jumping in on the crossbows, jumping in on the siege. And because they attack twice, they kill the siege and they kill the crossbows faster. And here they go. Oh, that's a Chinese keep. I didn't realize that keep was dropped. But it's the end. Right. Two, the, the second TC also goes out. Four salami. Only one TC remaining in the main one. But no rams for Kiljardi. But his fourth base just helps so much, right? He can just keep up the pressure. No units for Corvinus. No... Oh, no... Archery range is still there. Ah, don't tell me you're going for a landmark snipe. With a bunch of rams. But there is a, there is a lot of villagers here. 
to burn down those rams. That's a lot of people on gold, man. 49. That's almost that's more than half of your villagers. So that's the plan. Yep, the plan is Rams. Let's go. Second first DC will go down, then this, then that, then that. Oh no, there is a gulam in there. Salami wants to drop more stone. This is an Alain. Ah, but yeah, the army of Kiljari just comes back home. And there is literally nothing here that can kill the Rams. You can just leave, bro, leave, leave the Rams alone. You know? Uh, a keep is coming in. All right. Yeah, there is nothing to protect the rams. I mean the keeps, but then you you, you need to keep closer to the landmarks, right? Oh, but units are over there. Units invading the fourth base of Corvinus. It was a good move, I mean. It was interesting and exciting. I just don't think it's going to work. But he did the best with what he had. Which was not very much, right? Uh, but the keep is build, being built here, near the main, the main TC and the main um, the house of wisdom. So no siege can. Bro, you just pull the villagers, pull all the builds. This is going down, then that will go down. I mean, I think Corvinus has time to pull this one out. You just make enough rams, bring all the builds, kill this one, and then go for that one. Uh, but the, yeah, the Rams will not survive, right? Not enough. Yeah, because everybody was killed here on the food, on the wood. Why, why are you mining? Ah, because he wants to buy wood. He wants to buy wood. Is that it? To make more Rams? No, he bought stone to drop a keep. That this is honestly a good move from Corvinus. Oh, that's the... Oh, no, no, no. It was a good move, but not good enough. Corvin is sitting on 24 builds. He, he did what he could. He did what he could. Right. done. I mean, he's fighting for it. That's no lie. But the rams are going down. He, he can make more rams now. That's what he's doing. Oh, last landmark. Last landmark. Bro, these rams are going down super fast because of the fire of the keep and the TC. Lot of is being pulled. Maybe to heal? No, there is not enough rams here. And here? There is nothing to protect. Look at his base. I never seen such an empty base. 
Ah, that's too late, Corvinus, that's too late. Also, your rams were destroyed. GG gets caught. I mean, it was exciting to see Corvinus trying to pull this one out. But, guys, thank you very much for watching. Your support is greatly appreciated. I wish you the best thoughts, ideas, feelings and emotions and a whole bunch of individuality, creativity and responsibility as well. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch and there is uh, an occasion I want to talk with you first. This is my match history, look at this victory uh, row, right? But then we have, there was another game between um, Corvinus and Kiljardi, but it had like 24 seconds, so I will not cast it. I'll not make 26 seconds. I will not make a, because then there was no match. So I don't know what happened, but I'll not make a video about it. We'll see it right now. We'll see what happened right now because this was official. This counted, right? This counted for the stats because so far it was 4 1. So, no. Yeah, I think they realized that they, they, they couldn't play more because. No, no, it was 3-1. So, yeah, Salami could still win, or Corvinus could still win. So, let's see. Corvinus on the Ottoman. What? Bro, that was way faster than... Bro. There was nothing wrong. Maybe Corvinus didn't want to play anymore? There was nothing wrong here. Right? Because then there was no more game. So that was the last game. And if you go to Wikipedia and check that game, it is... It's, it's, it's on. Bro, but there was nothing wrong with... Maybe I, th I think just Salami didn't want to play anymore because look. That's one. I know. One, two, three. Yeah. It was only 3-1, so Corvinus could still win. Maybe he didn't want to play more, right? Yeah, no match here is against... Uh, uh, this one is against Corvinus, but it's solo ranked. Bro, ah, that's so weird. I think there was nothing wrong with the spawn for Corvinus. I just think he thought he couldn't beat uh, Kiljardi here. Ah, there was nothing... There was nothing wrong. And if it was something wrong, there will be a second match, right? Doesn't even move. Bro, that was less. That was six seconds. All right, guys, and that's the video for today. Thank you for watching. Your support is really appreciated, and I see you on the next one. Zetari Cloud Surfer, surfing out.